Hi everyone and welcome to Dad is a Joke and today we're going to be looking at another brand new game for the Atari VCS and multiple platforms called Akahar. If I can pronounce that properly. But anyway, um, this game originally, uh, if you played the Atari 50 uh, game, there was a prototype made for the arcade by Atari called Akahar. And when they play tested it, the game bombed big time because everybody found it difficult to play well it's it's you know when actually when i went to try the game in atari 50 the original arcade prototype i actually really enjoyed it i thought it was a great little game um it wasn't hard to learn and but it was you know it had some cool little features to play around with now with this new version it just jeff minter who who did um Tempest 4000, uh, which, you know, he took that game and, you know, moved the uh, volume level to 11. Uh, he did the same thing with this game, too. And the cool thing about it is, is that I really like is that the first part of the game is a tutorial. And it teaches you different aspects of the game. It teaches you how to do the bombs, and how to do chains and whatever, and how, and how it all works. And it's a lot of fun. Um, ah, needed a sip of coffee there. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, taking a prototype game like that, that bombed and then recreating it in, you know, 2023 or sort of the 21st century, um, it's, just, it, it's, it's really, really well done. I like how, you know, the, the simple, the simple graphics, but yet, you know, modern, you know, very, know, it's, it's hard to explain. It just, it really pops and it's a lot of fun. And the good thing about it is that there's some beautiful music behind it that get, that keeps you relaxed, but yet, you know, you're, you know, you're excited to get high scores and points and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I mean, that's the aspect that I really like. Here's the cool thing about all the doing the chains. So whenever those guys show up, they just keep on exploding. And all the information's there and it, and it's, it sort of walks you through the game, which makes it very easy and you get comfortable with the game. And I just like all the geometric shapes and what have you. It's really cool. Yeah, just like that. So the first part, the first part of the game is just a tutorial. So it, like I said, it gets you used to the game. So, and you score quite a bit of points, but it's a different story. Once you start playing outside of the tutorial, it, the game gets really difficult, really fast. You will see that later on in the video. Like it's so mesmerizing, so I don't know. It's it, it's hard to explain. It's it has this different feel to it. I mean, it's reminiscent of Tempest Four Thousand. Uh, you know, the same idea with that, but you know, and he also has sort of little background noises and stuff like that, which are pretty cool. And the scores pretty ramp up quite a bit actually when you start pulling off uh, multiple chains. And there's also a multiplier for the score, just like in Pinball. And there's another level done. This is when you start using the guns and the bombs. 
So again, it's not just bombs like before, now you gotta start shooting stuff. Creates, it, it creates another explosion, which things get get nailed, and you beef up your chain score. So now with this added, I guess, uh, mechanic in the game, it just makes that much more exciting. It's it's a lot more playable. It's a lot more ex exciting. It's it's cool. I, I mean, it. I don't know what what to say really. This is just a lot of fun, and just doing these shock waves just is amazing. And again, simple geometric shapes, nothing special, but it's the gameplay. That's what put Atari on the map. It was gameplay. Now, you folks with trackballs and uh, what are those rotating things again called again? The spinners. I don't know if it's compatible with this game. I haven't tried, but rumor has it on the um, on the what's it called uh, on the Atari VCS forums that it may be compatible. So that's something else to try. Another level clear. And I like this other little method of going downstairs. And you'll see in a moment which takes you there. And combat really increases here. But I still don't fully understand how that works, but I need to play more. And of course, what is an, a new Atari game without uh, power-ups? Every game needs power-ups. Anyways, folks, I think I'm going to let you go. You can watch the rest of this. Please, <clears throat> uh, if you want to skip forward to where the actual gameplay is, I highly recommend that part of it so you can actually see how it is outside of the tutorial and how hard it is. And also, um, just, like, uh, just like I say every time, don't forget to like this video, comment, uh, subscribe and also uh, don't forget to visit dadisajoke.com uh, we're increasing our inventory in our store so we got a lot more stuff there and uh, yeah so uh, the overall feeling for this for this game is you know what I really like it it's a lot of fun it, it held me I didn't get bored immediately um, if you played the original ver the original prototype on Atari 50, you need to get this game. It's a must. And especially if you have an Atari VCS, this is a no-brainer of a game to get. It's just one of those things that if you got an Atari, you got to get this Atari game. And Jeff Minter outdid himself, honestly. He did a fabulous job on this game. So anyways, folks, that's it. That is a joke saying it's a thumbs up. I don't know, I don't have a scale or anything bullshit you like that. Just get it. And it doesn't cost that much. Anyways, folks, take care. We'll see you later. And uh, enjoy the game if you pick it up. Let me know how it is for you. Take care.
Bye. Oh, <laughs> 